Okay, so we often hear the riders banging on about setup all the time, and one key area is the carburetion and jetting. So the carburetor is this little bad boy down here. Now, the intake into the engine is 34 millimeters. That can't be changed. The one thing they can change is the jetting, which is these little things here. Now, jetting makes a huge difference to the way the engine performs. In a nutshell, keeping it really simple, cold evening, lots of oxygen in the air, the bike will require more fuel, so a bigger jet. If it's hot like it is today, not a lot of oxygen in the air. Generally speaking, the engine will require less fuel, so a smaller jet. But there's lots of other things to take into account. You've got the crowd, the weather changes from practice to the race night, and it becomes a real minefield. So trust me, these little things here create massive headaches to the riders. A small change on here can make a huge difference to the way the bike performs on the track. Kim Nielsen, talk to me about jetting. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's a massive headache sometimes. Uh, you kind of always write down what you use and next time you come it might not work as it did before. So uh, yeah, I, I think also it's personal. Also it's uh, personal for the engines, what engine you have, what kind of uh, uh, intake you have and everything. So it's very personal and it makes a huge difference. So. Some of the boys have the weather stations, and weather stations which basically tell you the temperature but also the humidity, the amount of oxygen in the air, etc, etc. Do you use one of them or do you go by, let's say, feel? I go by feeling and also maybe you, you can use the station to get the, the perfect performance but you might not always look for the perfect performance, you might look for more traction so then it don't give you so much. So uh, yeah, I, I go by feeling and uh, yeah, it's got me this far anyway. And that's a big headache because a lot of the time we always, riders want more power, more power, but often you actually want less power for the bike to work. Yeah, that's, that's more or less what we always look for, to get the power to the ground. And then it's personal also, do you go smaller jet to get the power to the ground or do you go bigger jet to get the power to the ground? So yeah, it, sometimes it's a bit of a gamble, but uh, yeah, hopefully you get that gamble right. Well, talking to jets, like, a small jet, like I have in my hand a 190 and a 240, now that's a huge change, isn't it? But visually, like, you can't really see it, can you? There is a reason why you have to have numbers on them, and uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm lucky that it is numbers on them. So, are you gonna get the jet right for the rest of the year then? Uh, yeah, for sure, I think uh, last time I had the right jet in, and hopefully today as well. Big or small today then? Uh, I think a uh, smaller one. <laughs>